Alright guys and girls, Shadiel back for another update and this is going to be part one in the series of how to build a low maintenance, hassle free reef tank. Now, first thing we're going to talk about is nitrates or nitrates or nitrates or as I like to call them, nitrates. Now to break it down simply for you, nitrates are the end process of your fish pissing and shitting all over your tank. Now fish do piss and shit, just like we do. I personally had a huge shit about half an hour ago. But to cut a long story short, that shitting breaks down into ammonia, which breaks down into nitrites, which breaks down into nitrates. Now that's all done by bacteria that lives inside our tanks. Now ammonia and nitrites are lethal to fish. It could basically poison them. It would be like me putting two teaspoons of sulfuric acid into my coffee in the morning. Now apart from when you first set up your tank, which I'm going to get onto later, you're never going to see ammonia or nitrites in your system anyway, so you don't really need to worry about them. But if you put five large fish into your tank and start feeding them daily meals of ribeye steaks, you are going to see some nitrates. Now in order to control these pesky little nitrates, I run a deep sand bed, which is basically exactly as it sounds. It's a sand bed that's pretty deep and inside it lives lots of types of bacteria and microorganisms that do all the work for you so you don't have to. Now there are a few other things that can add nitrates to your tank which are basically detritus which is basically shit that builds up in your system and that happens if you haven't got enough water movement running around your tank to keep it all suspended. Now that really isn't a problem if you're going to set it up the way I'm going to tell you. Now another thing that can basically put nitrates back into your system is things like mechanical filtration which is basically like sponges and things you use to collect the shit that floats around your system. Now I left my sponges in there for about two months without cleaning them and I think I saw a nitrate increase of two parts per million. Now bottom line is two parts per million is fuck all, you know. I mean some people have told you you have to clean these things out like two, three times a week otherwise you're going to get a major nitrate spike. In a deep sand bed system like this, that just simply is not true. So you don't have to worry about making your tank like the constant bane of your life. So for a quick recap, the fish crap in the system, that produces ammonia, bacteria breaks the ammonia down into nitrites, more bacteria come along, break those nitrites into nitrates, and that is all you need to know. Your system is going to handle all of that for you. Now in the next episode, I'm going to talk about the second enemy to our reef tank, which is phosphates and how they get handled in a system like this. So if you basically want to spend your time enjoying your tank and looking at the things inside it and coming home and just going, oh look, that snail has crawled onto a crab's back. Well that shrimp is picking that fish's mouth. Those two fish are having sex. And you basically want to run a deep sand bed system like this. Now, next episode, I'm going to talk about phosphates and how they're handled in my system. So, this is Shadiel, signing out.